candles and fairy lights and I'm here today for a video that is highly requested on this channel and that is a guide to all of the special drills that are currently available. Now I've collected all of the things that I could. There's a few that I could not find that I know that I have but I'll be able to share pictures but I'm going to share you guys all of the things that are out on the market right now as far as my knowledge. Now remember, there's new stuff coming out every day, but as far as right now, this is what we have to work on with diamond paintings and how to enhance them. A quick side note, I will be doing a series on my channel that is going over how to enhance a diamond painting and how to get the best out of your enhancements as well as enhancement kits that come from different companies and we'll be exploring all of that. So look forward to those videos. I'd love if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you can always be made aware when those videos are coming out. But let's start off today with the very most basic enhancement drill and if you're wondering what a drill is it's the diamond I've had people ask this that's just the colloquial term that people use for the little diamond plastic pieces that we place on diamond painting kits and so first off the very first most basic thing would be an AB drill and now I sh you know I show these a lot in unboxings if you guys can see on this this is a white AB drill and there's this coating on it that just gives off the Aurora Borealis lights effect. You can see it in this orange color. There is almost an opaque coating on top that gives the color a shimmer. So I'll show you guys a few of these. We've got yellow. This one I feel like is a misnomer. This is a black AB and I often call this fly eyes because I really do feel like it gives the effect of fly eyes. Not what you would typically think of a black AB. This gives off a blue or green effect. If used for a blue and green effect, it works great. For black, not so much. Here are some in square and here are some in round. So you can typically find a wide variety of square and round AB drills on almost any special drill site. I will list a few down below, but my two favorites are DP with sparklers and diamond painting drills. So I'll put these up right here. Um, uh, along with these two shops that specialize in special you know, drills, there are companies that include these in their kits. And so I'll show you some of those that come in kits. But as far as finding an AB drill, you can find almost any color if you look hard enough or a color that's similar enough that it will work. And so I just encourage you guys, like a lot of times if you'd like to swap an AB out, it's a color for a color or a very similar color to switch these out and put enhance your painting. I'm gonna show you guys now what ABs look like on the canvas. And we'll look at some examples as you can see how they do just shimmer and shine and give this special effect to it. They make the other drills around it shine. However, I do say the one downfall with AB drills is that they are not true to color. And just like with the black ABs that I was showing you, those come off more blue or green. A lot of times the drills will all have the same color and so you can't create a very good shading effect with them. And also if you're trying to create a gradient shading effect with an AB in the middle of that, the AB is gonna stick out and not make that gradient transition as smooth. So let's move on to the next basic enhancement and that would be crystals. Now crystals come in both round and square as well. I will show you an example right here. There are two different kinds of crystals when you're looking at them. There is the jelly filled crystal right here that usually has a silver backing. And then you have got the sparkler. And this one is actually a glass cut drill. So this one is actually a lot more sparklier. If you can just tell it is they're they're both really add an extra enhancement to a painting but with the sparklers you got definitely a bigger punch now um, I think these work really great if you want to do glass or ice enhancements to show you right here an example of how I did all of Elsa's castle in square crystal drills 
and that is if you guys can just see <laughs> the entire castle to give it that icicle glass effect on it and I think it turned out pretty fun so that's one thing to consider that you use crystals for it can also just be fun to add some extra like wow you know huge sparkle I also do think that crystals work to really highlight certain items. So when I'm planning to do crystals, I like to make sure that I know what I am actually going to be highlighting in the painting. As you can see right here in Jack Skellington's moon, which is yellow in this painting, but I wanted to make sure that moon really had a beautiful effect. And so I did use those those glass cut sparklers on it. Another thing is in this Alice painting, I did use these to make some of these flowers just look stand out a little bit more. And so that was a really fun addition to the painting that, um, that made those flowers just kind of stand out more. One thing to note though, is as I did say that these sparklers and crystals can be found in rounds or squares. The glass cut sparklers cannot be made into square shapes as of right now. So unfortunately, these squares are too small and the glass cuts um, have not worked out. And so what a lot of companies have come up with is something that's called sparklers for squares or just these glass cut crystals in squares. So this is icicles from Diamond Painting Drills, and as you can see, this has a S on it for square. These are smaller than your regular drills, um, your round drills. If you are unaware, round drills are typically 2.8 millimeters and square drills are 2.5 millimeters. This might not seem like a big deal if you're unfamiliar with those different size ranges. However, it is actually quite a big deal. And so your regular round crystals are not going to fit in a square diamond painting and your sparklers for squares can fit in a round painting. However, there is going to be some gapping around it because because, like I said, they are smaller than your round drill. I'll show you right here on this Alice painting how I did incorporate some sparklers for squares into a square painting. I used this very beautiful gold metallic sparklers for squares and I added it to the chain. And so at a glance, you can't really tell that there's round on squares. It's not my preference. And I actually have never done this again because I don't really like to mix round and squares, but a lot of people do. And that is an option if you're looking for a square glass cut crystal. Also remember that you can get regular crystals in squares. So that is also there for you. I did want to show you guys also the effect of this on just a typical original sparkler. This is the original glass cut sparkler and this is Diamond Dots Alternative. It is definitely a jelly filled drill and you can see on this painting that I did for the fairy how I outlined in the original sparkler and filled it in with this drill. Now these or sparklers are really not expensive from diamond dots. So if you would like to cover a large area, I definitely suggest investing in these rather than these original glass cut sparklers, just because you can get these little containers that are full of drills for about $2. And this can easily be four to $5 with shipping on top of it, where if you are in the States, you can find this at your Joann's or Michael's or any of your hobby shops that carry these extra diamond dots or freestyle diamond dots drills. Moving on to metallics. So the very same thing exists with metallic. That is the same with crystals. Um, that some of these, for example, this is a jelly um, metallic right here. As you guys can see, this actually lays out very beautiful. This is another one of a Diamond Dots that has this very nice gold sparkle. I will show you on a canvas what this looks like on the Kiss by Klimt. Um, as you guys can see, you can definitely see that metallic drill. However, it is not like a glass metallic cut. However, these ones are. And true to the other crystals, you cannot get these in squares. You have to get just the smaller rounds to put in a square painting. 
and here's a version from Diamond Art Club of a gold metallic drill. I think those are some of the funnest ones to use as enhancements on paintings in jewelry or other things um, in these Cheriuki paintings that have these gold moons and stars. It's really fun to add, as you can see in this painting. Moving on to some other sort of crystals, sort of glass. These are jelly kind of opal glow glass drills that you can find from DP with sparklers that you can find with DP with sparklers and they really do glow. They add a very luminescent um, bubble sort of effect on the, the canvas as you can see on this Jasmine Beckett Griffith painting I did with the fireflies. You can see how those gold glasses look on a painting. They can be a very fun thing to put in your canvases. However, they are going to be show stoppers. And so just know anywhere you place them is really going to stand out. And that's one thing to consider when using these. Another drill is a jelly drill. So I just have this one right here. And this is a jelly that has a silver metallic bottom on it. And if you guys can see right here, the silver metallic bottom will actually make it so that you can place these drills on top of symbols. However, there are jelly drills that come in round and square that you actually cannot place them with a symbol underneath without that showing the drill symbol. And so you have to be very careful. Now companies that know of this, um, they will go ahead and if they chart these jelly drills, they'll make sure that the background is um, left blank and so that you can place this jelly drill on top and not get a symbol. But if you are just trying to add some jelly drills into your own painting, this is something to really think about is if the symbol that you're replacing is just an open clear spot or if it's going to be a symbol that's going to show through you're going to want a jelly that is like this where it has a silver backing and not just a straight jelly drill again i'll show you guys this neon pink jelly drill that i placed again in this alice painting that i was showing to you guys and as you can see the drills were actually not quite the right size for the painting and that was actually in the listing so pay attention to those things however i was able to just kind of smush it in as much as i could and to make the hearts um, and i think it turned out pretty okay and you guys wow this just neon is the jelly really adds almost a matte look that really sticks out. And I think that this is a great and fun thing to do on items that you would like to be neon or to have that jelly effect. Along with the jellies, there is also glow in the dark. And these drills are really fun because you can put them in your painting and they're basically disguised a lot of the time. So they come in regular drills, they'll come in AB drills, they'll be just fun to add to your painting and you will not know until you have it in the dark. Do keep in mind that a lot of these drills though do need to be charged with like a purple light flashlight. Here I have a diamond painting that I finished. It's a Sybil Art from Crafties and you can see the original artwork here and then you can see the glow and dark image right here. And so it's really neat and super fun. Of course this image did need to be charged with that purple light but that is a really fun addition you can do. Another drill that has emerged in the last little while are these glitter drills. So I've got two from Muni Made, and if you guys can see up close how much there is actually this really, it's a thicker gold glitter on it, and it really does add a little fun jelly glitter drill. Now like I did say, these are on jelly for the most part drills that I've seen. However, I found that the symbols do not really go through because you've got that glitter on top. You don't really have to worry as much about seeing the symbol underneath. So if you guys can see in 
Sally's dress. I added these glitter drills for a fun effect and I actually think they worked out really well. Now for the most part they're on a jelly base it seems and so I did notice that the color of the canvas or the symbol underneath did show through, not necessarily the symbol, but the color. And so while on her dress, there does look like there's shading underneath these glitter drills. And it would appear that I've used several different glitter color shades. That is actually not true. I only used one or two, and it's actually the shading of the canvas underneath that is causing that look that it is shaded. So that's one thing to know, that you will get that color underneath but you won't necessarily have the symbol showing through because of the glitter on top. One of the newest additions that is, I just love it, are these fairy dust or pixie dust drills. Now you're gonna see these under several different names. These are different than the glitter drills. These have an iridescent glitter on them. If you guys can see that right there, that just gives it almost a glow shine to the drills. You can see these red ones on there, but um, you can see it better. It's funny, you usually can see it better. <laughs> so you can see just the iridescent glitter on these drills that um, really makes it sparkle. But what I love about them is that they can basically be made by any color in the DMC and just adding that iridescent color. Now, the cool thing about this is that it does keep the integrity of the color and you can really see that in the painting. I'll show you guys right here an example of where that fairy dust is in the painting and how it does add an extra shimmer, but it does still keep its color. Of course, the pixie dust come in both round and square. There is not a ton of colors available on the specialty sites, um, but you'll see more in some of the kits that are coming out from different companies. Um, specifically, Diamond Art Club has started adding a lot of fairy dust drills to their kits. And again, remember that they are gonna be under a lot of different names because each company is naming them specific to their brand. And so you'll see pixie dust, stardust, um, <laughs> fairy dust, a lot of it, dust is in the word. It's probably that sort of pixie sparkle fairy dust drill. Now, these are drills that I did kind of touch on, but I and I do have some, but I cannot find them at the moment. And that is, first off, there is a specific neon drill that's not necessarily jelly, but it's neon. And you can find these in round and square. There's another drill that is called a pearl. It has a pearl effect on it. And these are just regular sized round drills. I think you can get them in the square size as well. And these are just look like they're kind of like little pearls on the canvas. And then there's bubble drills. And these are another one that have almost like a bubble on top of the drill and will kind of stick out from the top of your canvas. If you're running your hands on it, you'll be able to fill it. Are these sort of little bubbles that would be really great for a underwater or mermaid painting or something like that with bubbles. I think that's perfect for them. So that is one thing to consider. You can find all three of these at DP with sparklers. That's where I've gotten pictures from and that's where I purchased mine from. So let's move to bigger bling and other fun things that you can add to your canvas. So first off, there are quad cubes and these are just squares that basically count up to four drills in a square. You can place these, as I'll show you right here, where I've taken, where there's clearly just a four drill that's meant to be a circle or a square, and you add a square instead. And they're great for just kind of <laughs> adding a little extra bling. So you can get these in squares like this. You can get them in this pearlescent square. You can get them in a square AB in lots of different colors. Here's another regular, just purple square. There's even metallics right here. I've got a rose gold one. And so again, these are about four drills in a square that you can replace. Another thing that you can do as well with four drills is do a half pearl. 
And you can get these half pearls in a lot of different colors. They're flat on the bottom, so they place nice on the canvas, but they do give that rounding effect. And I've used that on different paintings. Sometimes I've used it for eyes, for things, um, for pearl necklaces. And so that is how um, you can use those pearls. But again, that is about the size of four drills. So along with squares and with the half pearls, you can also get fun things like these hearts to put on your paintings or other small <laughs> shapes. So these gems are five millimeter or six millimeter. So right here I have on the top to let myself know these are six millimeter red hearts. And the reason that's important is that six millimeters will cover four round drill spots. However, if you are doing it with a square, you would want to do a five millimeter half pearl or a five millimeter square, which at whatever you're looking for. And so that's, that's one way to gauge and see what you're looking for. Um, there is, of course, though, if you would like to expand your special drills that you add in, one thing is to just calculate the area or space you would like to cover, and then you can kind of guess how many drills you would like. So I think the next up from six is about nine millimeters or eight millimeters for squares, and you can get certain things like these flowers in here, or you can get hearts. Um, you can get l larger hearts. Hearts and stars come in lots of sizes, so you can find those um, and squares. Now I have some of these beads that are even larger. So these are eight millimeter green peridots. And so these can be used there. And then the larger ones I was talking about are these that you know might be 15 millimeters up to, I've used 25 to 30 millimeter gems in my paintings and found that they can add a really nice large enhancement if that's something that you like to do. As you can see on this painting that I recently just finished, um, that is the kiss. There is a lot of special drills on here and I'll just show you how you have got these teardrops, you have got these squares, now they're placed like triangles, but they're squares, and you have got, you know, these eye-shaped ones. I'm, I'm gonna be terrible with naming my shapes right here. But these are just all these special fun things that you can add. Now the very last one that I wanted to talk about today are called slivers or sliverettes. And right here you can see these are slivers and if you get them in half size they're sliverettes. And so these cover about three and a quarter drills so there is going to be some gapping some spacing and you can see on this kiss painting where they don't exactly match or fit in a specific spot you do kind of have to give some give in there and so that's just one thing to know with slivers or sliverettes they're not necessarily coded for um, the exact amount of the painting but you guys, these are the special drills. I hope you've enjoyed this or this has felt informative. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll of course link down below my favorite places. I, as I said, I love to go to DP with sparklers. I love to go to diamond painting drills. And I find a lot of these larger, um, you know, special drills or <laughs> sized gems on Amazon actually. Uh, the unfortunate thing is I have to buy them in bulk and so I just have a ton left over so when I can use them in paintings, I love to do that. So you guys, again, please give me a like and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.